There we go, got it. Hi guys, it is almost 12.30 and we are going to go ahead and get ready to go live here in just one second. Well, we are live, but we're going to get going with the um, class. The class here in just one second. So today's class is a doozy. I uh, just went over, uh, Andre just went over with what we're doing today and I think the two of us were a little excited, sure, um, but if you do not have good balance, I want you to go ahead and maybe grab a chair and have it nearby. Again, I'm going to be the modified version today, and Mindy is going to be the full variation of whatever Andrea is teaching. Or the most advanced Or the variation. most advanced, uh, right. yes. Uh, again, we are learning as we go here. Uh, again, you can, it's 12.30, so it's very sunny and hot in Florida, which is why we are in a new location in Mindy's beautiful backyard. Gracious, yeah, gracious. Yeah, gracious thing. Mindy. So um, please leave comments, uh, questions, any kind of modification you can think of. If we are not reading this live right this second, uh, we will after the class. Um, the class will, again, be posted on YouTube through the sydneysocian.com. Um, if you go to class schedule, uh, the link to YouTube is in the class schedule for past classes. Um, we are planning on doing Tuesday, Thursday, 12.30 Eastern, and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 Eastern, and that's in the morning. Um, again, we're really excited, and we hope that you are able to be at home and safe with your family. All right, so here we go. All right, everybody, let's start the same way we did yesterday. Take a step in the middle of your mat. Arms grow wide up our sides. Great big inhale through the nose. And exhale and dive forward. Slowly stretch the back of the body out. Hang there for a hot second, right? Take a couple inhales and exhales. And then that final inhale, slowly roll up. Feel yourself like you have a 10 pound weight on your shoulder blades. You're pushing through and stretching it out. Uncurl the chin at the top. Arms grow wide up the sides with the great big inhale. Exhale, dive forward again. Now this time while we're down there, let's wiggle our head a little no, a little yes, right? And inhale and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time unfurling the head at last inhale arms grow wide up the sides exhale dive down let's bend and straighten those knees you can either do both at the same time or one then the other depending on your flexibility in your hamstrings straighten the legs out take a nice inhale and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. This time, let's roll the shoulders back three times. And then let's roll them forward three times. And let's take one final big inhale. And let's get ready to do our footwork, my friends. Okay, so Sydney's gonna step up to the chair and she's just gonna have, no, you're gonna just have your right hand on the chair for now. Face me, Mindy. Go ahead, face me, Sydney. All right, and we're gonna start off with parallel footwork. So two key things here, you wanna make sure you're pulling up through your center, okay? And you don't wanna shift your weight into one hip or the other. You wanna stay completely parallel, all right? And the biggest important motion is from the hip. So don't bend and swivel your knee. Make sure your knee's coming all the way up to the chest and the foot is shooting out. So we'll start with right knee up, right? And then we're gonna take and push that heel out away from us. Bend the knee back up towards the chest and push the heel out. We're gonna do that eight times for eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and last one, let's stay out there, point and flex for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down and in. Good job. Right away to the other leg, nice pull up. Knee up, and let's extend out, pushing through the heel, bringing the knee back up towards the chest. You've got it. And seven, and six, and inhale and exhale. Pull up if we start to lose our balance, right? And three, and two, Last one, pull up, find your balance, point and flex for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Lower it down. Good job. Shake the legs out if you need to. No, the chair is lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Shake the legs out. We're going to start off now in a Pilates V position, okay? So nice little V here, right? Key secret here when we're pulling up is engage the inner thighs, right? And pull up through the front, through the rib cage. So let's sweep that leg out in front. All right, and now we're gonna lift and lower here. Ready? For eight, just lift and lower straight leg, Mindy. Seven, six, you've got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now from here, let's bend in and out. Let the knee go wide. Exactly. Nice and wide. Anyone thinks it's easy, they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, you prefaced with it's a doozy today, right? Two, and one. Nice straight leg, lower it down. Good job. Woo! Shake the supporting leg out a little before you work it, all right? And nice position, right? Knees over toes, little V, little V. Sweep the right leg, uh, the left leg straight out. And let's do our lift and lower with the pointed toe. Ready? Lift and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Alex two, is on the, the air committee. One. Lift it, lift it. Ready? Knees out to the side. Bend and straighten with the flex foot. You've got it. Beautiful. Nice work. Four more. Pull it up, Mindy. Pull it up. Don't laugh. <laughs> Two. Last one. Straighten it out. And lower it down. Good job. Wiggle it out. Wiggle it out, my friends. All right. So now we're going to go, and we're going to go out to the side. All right. So parallel feet first. All right. And we're gonna start with the left leg because Sydney's already facing us, all right? So starting with the left leg, we're going to lift it out and then we're gonna bend it in and we're gonna be pressing in and out, okay? Nice and easy. Pull up, press in and out. If I can do it, you can, Mindy, ready? Seven, you've got it. Six, five, four, smile. You're on camera. Two, one. Now, from here, kick your heel to your bottom. You've got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put it down and relax it down. Yep, move your chair unless you want to give everybody your backside view. All right. Good job. Ready? Shake those legs. I know, right? Not easy when the pavers have shifted a little bit through the years. All right, so right leg now. Everybody get a nice deep breath. Pull up. Let's extend it straight out. Ready? And what are we going to do here? You've got it. Knee. Three. Two. One. Now it's out there. Now kick the heel to the bottom for eight. Seven. Six, five, put your big toe down, it's better balance. Three, two, and one. Good job, and lower it down. Beautiful job. All right, now you're just gonna face the chair, Sydney. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're going through the back of the body, friends. All right, so the first one we'll do is parallel. We're gonna lift the leg up, right? And we're gonna start off with glute lifts. We'll do eight of those, and then we'll be pressing in and out. Ready, point the toe. And let's squeeze the glute and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carefully now, bend the knee in towards the body and extend the leg out behind. In and out and extend. Yes, this is definitely a balance challenge. And out and extend. And in and out and extend. You've got four more and three more. And two more, and last one. Beautiful job, and bring it down. Same leg, turned out. All right, so Pilates V is your start. Ready? Let's extend the leg out, squeeze the glute, lift it lower, same thing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now knees coming wide to the side, bend it up and extend it out. 
Bend it up and extend it out. Make sure the leg's still going back though, right? There you go. Pull up. Three more. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Put that big toe down. Last one and bring it in. So balance, my friends, the tripod of the foot, the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel is considered the tripod of balance. Right. All right, let's keep all our toes and feet completely on the floor unless it's up and working. Other leg, shake the legs out, start parallel. Feet underneath your hips, point the toe, extend it back. Find where the glute is engaged and then let's lift it higher for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bend the knee in towards the body and extend it out. Squeeze the glute on the way back. You've got it. Nice and controlled. And seven. Good job. And six. Plant that big toe. You got it. And four. She's like, I'm gripping with the big toe. Like Three. <laughs> and two. And one. Beautiful. Bring it down. Shake it out. Shake it out. And then we turn into a Pilates V. Pull up nice and tall. Lift through the inner thigh and the rib cage as we sweep the leg back. And let's lift and lower here for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee comes up wide, and then extend out to the back. Eight, seven. You're leaning to the right, Mindy. That's why you're falling. Six, come more towards me. Yep. Four, three, two, and one. Hallelujah. Standing oh, for work is over. We're done with the chair. Yes, we are. You want to pull it over here? Out of the camera of entirely? Yep. Is it out of camera now? It's like a little bit. Okay. All right, everybody. It's time to lay down and do the hundreds. Today, when we do the hundreds, we're going to be doing a lower and lift of the legs. So Mindy will be lifting up and down. Sydney will be going from tabletop to a 45 degree angle. If at any point the 45 degree angle is bothering your lower back, you stay in tabletop, right? So hands behind the head, just for three chest lifts first. Ready, take a nice inhale and exhale and true chest lift, straight up. Eyes and shins to the ceiling, bring it back down. Exhale, chest lift. Inhale down, exhale, chest lift. Inhale down, one more so everyone's doing it the right way. Exhale, chest lift. Inhale down. Why do I have you do those first so you chest lift properly for the hundreds and you don't yank on your head? Ready? Let's prep for the hundreds, everybody. Reach the hands long and lean. Take a nice inhale with your head down. Exhale, lift. And now let's begin to pump those arms. Inhale through the nose, two, three, four, five. Exhale through the mouth, two, three, four, five. Lift the legs, two, three, four, five. Lower, two, three, four, five. Lift, two, three, four, five. Lower, two, three, four, five. Lift, two, three, four, five. Lower, two, three, four, five. Lift, two, three, four, five. Lower, two, three, four, five. Halfway, inhale and exhale. And lift and lower and lift and lower and inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth last breath everybody inhale and exhale bend in the knees relax the arms relax the head neck and shoulders down drop the feet beautiful job everybody long lean bodies here we're going for our roll-ups once again mindy's going to leave her hands by her hips sydney's going to put her hands above her head it's an easier version for roll-ups. Take a nice inhale here and exhale, chin to your chest and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, trying not to use momentum. Keep diving for it, head towards the knees, stretch, stretch, stretch. Now sit up nice and tall, re-stack the spine and big inhale. Exhale, control, 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 control and down. Hands by your hips, inhale. Exhale, chin to your chest and feel yourself peeling off one vertebrae at a time, making every section of those abs work. Keep diving, diving, diving and stretch. And 
sit up super tall. Restack the spine. You're on those sits bones, right? Sit a little taller for me, Sid. There we go. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly. One vertebrae at a time. And big inhale. And exhale. All right. We're staying here. We're going to start a series now of tricep dips and ab work. So we're going to get up into a crab position first. Fingertips facing you, please. All right, feet are flat, knees are bent. We're going to do 10 tricep dips with our body elevated here. All you're doing is bending and straightening those elbows. Mindy, if you could move your legs out a little further and your butt a little higher. Yep, there we go, perfect. Nice neutral neck for me. Lower your chin a little bit, Sid. Yeah, there we go. Ready? And let's bend and straighten for 10. And 9. And 8. And 7 and six use your exhale on the way up five four three two and one bring it all the way down lay all the way down prep for number one of the fab five which is single knee stretches we did those yesterday all right left elevate right there we go ready inhale exhale let's switch for ten ten and nine nine and eight. Remember your head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. You're trying to squeeze that rib cage nice and tight. Six, six, five. Try not to pull on your neck. Four. Inhale and exhale. And two. Last one on each leg. Beautiful job. Relax down. Now we're going to go back into the crab position for the tricep dips. Except this time, if you are confident, you're going to lift your right leg and hold it for the 10 dips. So when you're ready, you can either have it straight or bent. Show a right leg bent for me, Sid. There we go. Ready? And let's dip for 10, 9. Inhale down, exhale up. 8, 7, 6. Abs in. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, all right, bring it down. Number two of the Fab Five is when we're doing our double knees in and our arms are circling around. Sydney's gonna go all the way up and all the way down for everyone. Mindy's gonna hold her head, neck, and shoulders up for the whole exercise. And let's begin, ready? Open and exhale to close for 10. And nine. And eight. And seven and six exhale up inhale long and lean five squeeze the legs together point the toes lengthen the body out three more two more last one good job bring it down all right yep we're going back to the tricep dips okay obviously it's the left leg this time ready bring it up no it is not let's dip ready I dip, you dip, we dip. Ready? Seven. And six. And breathe. Inhale down, exhale up. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Bring it down. Relax straight down. All right. Going back to the front of the body. Now we're doing the scissor. Single leg pulls. Straight legs, pointed legs, right? Pulse, pulse at the top. If your neck's getting tired, leave it down. Ready? We're switching. We're doing this for 10. And nine. <laughs> and eight. And seven. Slow down a mini. And six. There we go. And five. Inhale and exhale, friends. And four. Try not to pull behind your knee if you are. Remember, we want a nice straight leg. We've got two more on each leg. Last one each leg, and beautiful job, bring it down. All right, so this is the good news. We go down to five tricep dips. The bad news is, is that we have straight legs now, so we're in a reverse plank doing these. Sydney's gonna still do them in her bent leg form because that's the modified version, okay? Are we ready? And five dips, ready? Five, squeezing up, and four. And three, and two, 
and one. Beautiful job. Bring it down. See how nice I was with that? Just five? Five I can live with. Right? Five you can live with. All right. Um, so Sydney's prepping for the double leg lift and lower. She's making the diamond underneath her tailbone. Mindy, you're going to pull your head, neck, and shoulders up. Support it with your hands and elbows wide behind your head. Pilates V the legs for me. Inhale as we lower. Exhale, pull through the pelvic floor as we come up. You should feel your lower abs doing this, not your quads, not stretching your hamstrings out, right? If you feel it going into your quads, please bend your knees a little. And also, inhale on the way down, exhale. Think about pulling the belly button under the ribcage as you exhale to bring the legs up. We've got four more, and three more, and two more. And last one, beautiful job. Bend the knees and bring it down. I was. If you were yeah, I, was. I, was I did. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know what's next, friends? Triceps. Five more. Straight leg. Right leg is elevated this time, Mindy. Not real high, just a little bit. There we go. Ready? Bend and straighten. Five. Inhale and exhale. Four. Three. Two. And one, beautiful. Last one for the Fab Five is crisscross. Elbows are wide. Remember, we're rotating the torso. The legs are staying within the body. Opposite knee to opposite armpit. Let's start with the left towards the right. And let's switch, you've got it. 10 and nine. Inhale and exhale, right? Exhale as you twist, inhale as you rotate to the other side. You've got it. Six, five. Four, three, <laughs> two, she's got less rotation, Mindy. And last one, good job. And bring it down. Last set of tricep hips, my friends. Last set, ready? Pull it up. Make it your best. Lift that left leg a little bit. Lift your left leg a little bit. Sydney, you didn't lift your right leg last time? All right, stay this way. Ready? Dip and go. Five and four. She's like, and I'm not this time. Three, <laughs> two, and one, woo -hoo! Good job, everybody. Yeah, reach forward, stretch it out, right? Take your legs and put them in a butterfly stretch for me. And then bring your right arm overhead and stretch the tricep out. <laughs> Mindy's like, wait, wait. <laughs> My body doesn't want to do that yet. Nice, inhale, right? And then take a little side bend with it, right? And then bring it up and over, and the left arm overhead, stretch that tricep out. Little tug on the elbow stretches the tricep out. Take a little side bend with it, and then bring it back center. All right, rolling like a ball. Remember we did this yesterday. We're warming up for a nice overhead exercise here. So let's make sure we're all the way at the edge of our mat. We're as tight as we can. Lock our hands and wrists together. Tuck your chin to your chest. Take an inhale back and an exhale forward. If you have knots on the back of your shirt, this is probably not that comfortable. Oh, was it all right? All right, inhale down. Exhale up and balance, hold. Inhale down. Exhale up and balance, hold. Two more, my friends. Inhale down. Exhale up and balance, hold. Leave the chin to the chest. Inhale down. Exhale up and balance, hold, hold, hold. Mindy wanted to do one more, I swear, and lower it down. <laughs> All right, let's put ourselves long and lean on the mat on our back, supine on the spine. All right, so this one's called overhead. Sydney's gonna do a version that doesn't go quite as far and just puts no pressure on your neck. So if you have any neck injuries, you just wanna uh, follow Sydney's version, all right, which is basically bringing the legs just a little bit past 90, opening them wide and then slowly lowering back down. Mindy's doing the full version, which is bringing the legs all the way overhead. So the toes would touch behind your head. You're basically folding yourself in half. You hands press into the mat strongly, okay? Really have that a presence of pressing into the mat. Take a nice inhale through your nose, and with your exhale, lift your legs up, 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 and over. Not that far, um, Sydney. Not that far, a little higher, a little higher. There we go, good job. Now separate your legs, and now slowly roll one vertebrae at a time without jackknifing your legs. So they get up to 90 and bring it back down. Once again, you don't have to go as far as Sydney went. You can stop up at 90 degrees. Inhale, exhale all the way up and over. Separate the legs. 
and now slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time bringing the feet up and down great big inhale here last one exhale up and over toes down towards the floor mindy there we go separate and then slowly roll one vertebrae at a time beautiful job everybody all right we're going to stay here on our backs and go into a bridge series okay <laughs> so for bridging you'll find that you want to place your feet as close to or as far away from your bottom as you want to challenge your hamstrings and your glutes okay so everything should be parallel your knees and your feet should be lined up with your hips all right and your hands are long and lean on the mat we're going to start off with just a proper bridge which means we're going to stop on our shoulder girdle we are not shoulder bridging like in classical pilates all right so take a nice inhale squeeze the glutes and slowly bring it up tuck your abs underneath your rib cage right nobody wants to see their abs pushed up to the ceiling all right and now i want you to slowly bring it back down one vertebrae at a time so think about it you're peeling off the mat with your inhale let's try it inhale and peel and then with your exhale you're melting back down from the middle to the low to your bottom one more time inhale pull up and squeeze tuck the abs exhale melt back down into the mat all right we're going to go for a set of glute lifts here a uh, little pelvic thrust or pelvic curls we should think of them more as so take your inhale squeeze and bring your bridge up tuck your abs in now now tightening the glutes let's pelvic thrust a little higher for 10 and 9 8 7 continue to breathe 5 four three two one you look great ten more ready ten nine eight you got it seven six five four three two and one and slowly bring it down bring your knees into your chest give them a little hug a little rock from side to side all right, let's plant them back down. Next set we're gonna do, we're gonna bring our bridge up. We're gonna squeeze our glutes as tight as we can. We're gonna tuck our abs in. We're gonna abduct and abduct our knees. So let's bring them together and then open them wide. Bring them together and open wide. You've got it. Only as wide as those glutes allow you to, right? Don't roll your feet so much. You've got it. In and out. You want your inner thigh and your outer thigh feeling a little love here. You've got to keep those glutes super tight. Don't lose the abs. Three, two, ten more. Ready? Ten. I know bridging's your favorite, Sydney. I like cursing you right now. Seven. I can see it. Six. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last. Ready? Four. And three. And two and one bring it neutral slowly bring it down straighten the legs out flex <laughs> just keep saying banana roll all right do a nice roll up here my friends and stretch the back of the legs out really stretch those hamstrings out we have some more hamstring work to do so take a little stretch in between that's what makes pilates so fantastic is we don't beat ourselves endlessly without stretching and lengthening in between okay this is not downtime this is important time Ready? Slowly roll back down for me. All right. Bend the knees, plant the feet. All right. We're going to try single leg bridging here, okay? Oh, <laughs> right? So listen, um, really pay attention to the distance of your foot from your buttocks. If you're straining too much, usually just kind of jump in your heel in a little closer. I'll help you out a little bit, okay? <laughs> Sydney's preemptively moving closer. And Ready? Who knows me knows it's my knees. <laughs> Take a nice inhale, squeeze and bring that bridge up with two feet down. Now let's raise that right leg up to the ceiling. Flex the foot for me and let's try and punch the heel up to the sky for 10, nine, through little glute lifts, right? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee into the chest and now push it straight out away from you at a 45 degree angle. You've got that. Flexing still, Mindy? You've got it. 
and seven, and six, and five. Don't lose your bridge. Four. Squeeze the glutes. Three. Abs are underneath your rib cage. Two, and one. And straighten it out, lower it down, and bring your bridge down. I had one more actually, but Sydney quit on me. So we're gonna have to do the next one <laughs> again on the leg again. <laughs> Ready everybody? Let's bring that bridge up again. Right leg extends up to the ceiling. Well, right leg. You did right. I know. Sydney. Sydney. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Flex and lower the leg down so the thighs are even. Point and bring it back up to 90. Flex and lower. Point and raise. You've got it. For eight and seven. Bring that bridge up and six. Squeeze the glutes and five and four. Flex in point and three and two and one. Now be nice. Bend and lower and slowly bring your bridge down. Good job. Bring the knees into the chest. Little from side to side. And then just bring them up to the ceiling. Stretch the hamstrings out, right? There you go. Fold yourself in half. Flex your feet, right? Bring the toes back to stretch the back of the legs out. Alex, can you get your mom for us? No, four feet distancing. Six feet. Bring it down. <laughs> I'm fortunately socially distancing so they can't hurt me. Ready? <laughs> All right, ready everybody? Left leg, left leg. Take your deep breaths, all right? Take a nice inhale, squeeze and bring the bridge up. Tuck the abs for me, please. Left leg goes up to the ceiling, flex the foot, punch holes in the sky with that heel for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee to the chest, punch out at 45 degrees. You've got it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, ready up to 90, point the toe. Now flex it down and point it back up for 10 and nine. Where's that bridge? And eight. There's no race. We don't get any medals here. Slow it down a little bit for me. And six. There we go. And five. Pull the abs in. Four. And three. And two. And last one. Beautiful job. Bring it down. Lower the bridge. And let's do a nice roll up and straight, uh, stretch those hamstrings out. Nice inhale. Exhale. Chin to the chest. Bring it all the way up. Head down to the knees. You have well, you know what? This is hot Pilates. This is hot Pilates. We talked about that yesterday. This is definitely hot Pilates. Beautiful work. All right, everybody. So we're gonna roll over onto our bellies. Mindy, have your face this way, please. Remember Swan? Oh, she face yes, please, because yeah. I don't want her to go anywhere near that stair. Yeah. Right. Potentially hurt herself. So we're gonna start off with just some nice um, stretching here of the spine in an extension so that we're warming it up for what our exercise is, all right? So hands under the shoulders for and pushing up with an inhale, right? We're gonna go as far as we can. We're gonna listen to our body. If you can't straighten your arms out, please don't, all right? And then take a nice slow measure on the way down. Think about the same way you bridged, how you peeled and melted. You wanna do the same thing with this swan. You wanna peel yourself up with an inhale and you wanna exhale and melt yourself back down. Please draw your shoulder blades down as you go up. You don't want your shoulders in your ears and then slowly bring it back down. One more time, inhale and up, cause I'm being nice now. <laughs> and slowly bring it back down. Now, if you're classically Pilates trained or you've been doing this mat classes for years, you will know the next exercise, which is swan dive. If not, you're gonna watch it first because it looks a little bit like you're a teeter-totter upside down, okay? So, you're gonna, Sydney's gonna do the modified version which is the arms bent, all right? And a rocking motion here. She can lift her hands at one point if she wants to give herself a little bit more, right? But if not, she's gonna keep her hands on the mat, all right? Mindy is gonna be doing the full swan dive move with the arms extended out. So, everybody start with elbows bent, hands down. All right, the legs are lifted here too, my friends, right? 
So what we do is when we lower the bottom half of the body, we push up and bring the upper half off the mat, and then we drop and the other half goes. There we go, we do a nice motion. Inhale and exhale for five. You're so wobbly, Mindy. And four, she's never done this before. And three, and two, and one, because Sydney's doing the modified. That's okay, sweet cheeks. You look great. You can't. And it might have helped a little bit if you squeezed your glutes and turned your legs out a little bit and had your, your hips even. Have your hips even. You seem to be rolling onto your right hip. But that wasn't as pretty as some things could be, but we did it anyways, all right? We okay. have to introduce new things, right? Yeah. Lay on our back. We're going into an elevated bicycle series here, okay? So Mindy's gonna be completely elevated, holding and supporting her hips with her hands, all right? And Sydney's just gonna start with her bottom on the ground still, all right, for the modified version. So you see how Mindy has her hands holding herself up there, supporting with her thumbs on her waist and her hands on her lower back? All right, and Sydney is just up. Now, we're gonna start here with scissors. Slow and controlled, we're lowering and we're lifting. That's okay, switch your legs, Sydney. Ready, now lower your left leg. There we go. You only want that one to move? Yeah, I, I want them both moving like scissors. Yes, there we go, nice and controlled. Scissors, Sid, so bring one closer and one further away, right? Scissors. Oh, okay. <laughs> bad. <laughs> there we go. And seven. You can tell how live this is, my friends, right? Absolutely no rehearsal. And five more. And four more. No, not at all. And three more. That's my whole point. And two more. And last one. Good job. Bring them together. Slowly roll down, Mindy. Beautiful job. And we shake the legs out a little bit. Yeah, you have tight hips, clearly, because your leg didn't want to come much further than that. All right, so for the next set, we're up in the same position for Mindy and for um, Sydney, but we're doing bicycles, so we're not doing straight legs, we're doing bicycles, all right? And friends, if you're up in Mindy's position, I want you to make sure your weight is on your shoulder girdle, not pushed into your neck, right? And that your hands are supporting your lower back, all right? Take a nice prep. And now we're going to start bicycling, right? So one, one is bent and one is straight. See how far you can let that long leg go before you bend it back in. You've got it. For eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one, beautiful job, relax it down, roll and control, beautiful. All right, so for the next one, the exercise is similar in a way of the positioning to the rollover we did earlier, where our feet were all the way over our head. All right, Sydney's gonna do the modified version, which is lifting yourself and holding yourself the way Mindy was. If you cannot do that, or you're just not comfortable with it, then you're gonna stay with the flat back and you're gonna grab your ankle and try and bring it as close to your face. Otherwise, you're gonna go all the way over and down like Mindy and you're gonna grab both your ankles. All right, so that's your start position. Now, Mindy's gonna let go of her right leg and grab her left leg with both hands and bring the right leg up to the ceiling. Sydney, just bring your right leg up and leave your left leg down. Right, there we go, good job. And now we're gonna slowly come together and then switch and slowly come together and switch no that's not cheating that's accurate <laughs> uh, uh, mindy asked who was cheating and she puts her toes on the ground and i said no it's accurate you shouldn't be a flex foot you should be a pointed foot but it's still okay to be down on the mat that's actually the start position and switch let's get two more in here girls and switch. It should be feeling a crazy stretch. And yeah, absolutely. Both feet together, girls. And then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time till we're back on that mat. Very nice. Big inhale, full body stretch. You were just scrunched up. Yeah, definitely. Stretch it out, right? Good job. And then just roll over towards me, sideline kick series. Mindy, let's start the line kicking. 
All right, so remember banana peel, croissant, whatever works for you as far as visually getting yourself all set. Minnie's gonna be up on her forearm. Sydney's gonna be down on her arm. We're doing an entire diff entirely different series today. So we're starting with a turned out leg on the top. All right, so toe up to the ceiling, heel up. Right, and we're just gonna lift up to an almost 90 and bring it back down, exactly. We can keep it pointed the whole time too. I don't wanna mess with the point flex thing today maybe. <laughs> or point on the way up and flex on the way down. Remember, we wanna try and pull our obliques up a little. We don't wanna sag. We wanna have a neutral neck. So try and look as if there was a person in front of you, not at your leg, right? Two more. And that hand is in front and not on your hip, no matter what. Good job. All right, now you're gonna take and do the total opposite of a turnout and turn your foot in towards the front. You're gonna bend your knee in towards your chest, and then you're gonna pretend like you're pushing out at an angle of 45 degrees. You've got it, and in and out. You've got it, so bring the knee into the chest and then kick out. Same thing like we were talking about footwork earlier, right, you want that hip socket to be doing some work too, not just the knee. You've got it for four more. Squeeze the glute when you get out there. And three more. And two more. Last one, stay out there, point the toe. Cantaloupe side circles, come towards me first. Eight, seven, cantaloupe, six, Five, four, yeah, three, two, one. Reverse, eight, <laughs> seven, six. The whole leg's moving, but not the elvis pelvis, right? Three, two, one. All right, stay there. Flex the foot, kick the heel to your bottom. Nice, and eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, clamshell modified. So, clamshell position. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to lower the bottom leg all the way down, and you're going to take the top leg, you're going to bring the knee and bring it down towards the knee, and then you're going to bring it up and let the toe touch the other heel. Toe. Yep. So, down to the knee and then over to the toe, and down to the knee, and over to the toe, and down to the knee, and over to the toe. You've got this for five more, and four, and three, and two, and one. Last one now, straighten that bottom leg out, bring it forward a little bit, top leg's gonna sweep towards your big nose, Toe is down, heel is up. Little lift and lowers, ready? Four. 10, nine, eight, breathe, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Oh my gosh. Lay down, let's figure four as we beat our butts, right? Get that piriformis stretched Jeez. out. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't think this is hard, oh. I don't know where they're living. They're superhuman. They're superhuman. They should go join the Olympics. Which, well, postponed, I think, right? Postponed. Postponed, yeah. exactly. Hey, we all have to figure this out, right? Push the knee away, my friends, and right? Make yourself on. little. Pretzel it out. If you were with us yesterday, a pretzel's when you cross over the knees. The knees, not the ankles. Then you moan a whole lot because <laughs> you feel like someone put you in a pretzel position. <laughs> And nice and easy, relax, switch the pretzel for me, stretch out the other side a little bit, right? Nice and easy, nice inhale and exhale. Try to relax your head. Yeah, there you go. Inhale. Oh, that makes it worse, oh my uh, God. It, but it stretches it more, yeah. babe, I know. <laughs> and exhale, good job. Flip your heads towards me, other way. Yep, gotta get that other side, we can't be lopsided. Weeble wobble, weeble wobble. <laughs> All right, so remember, we're in that uh, croissant banana peel position. We're gonna stop, start with our top leg turned out. Sorry, my tongue stopped working. Turned out, Sid, up to the ceiling. Yep, ready? And let's point up and flex down. And point up and flex down. Oh, this is my and point leg. up and flex down. A little less movement in your torso, friends. Try not to roll back, hand in front. Thank you. And four and three. I don't need your leg whipping up and kicking your head. I just need control. 
Last one. All right, now turn your toe towards the mat. Right, bend the knee in towards the chest and then kick out to that 45 degree angle out into the sky. You've got it. Nice and controlled. And six. And five. Toe down a little more, Mindy. Three. Yep. And two. And one. Point the toes. Stay there. Cantaloupe circles towards me first. Eight. Seven. Six. Three. Five. You look tired, Mindy. Four. Three. Keep smiling. Two and one. I like it reverse. Ready? Eight. You don't have to have your foot turned in anymore. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay there. Heel to the butt. Ready? Kick it in. It's a little break. This is more quad than anything. Ready? You've got it. Eight, <laughs> seven, six, five. I lied a little. Four. Three, you know, little mental game. Two and one. All right, so modified clamshell, right? Bend the knees. Bend both of them, Mindy. Yep, there you go. Now the knee comes down to touch the knee, and then the toe goes back and touches the other toe. You've got it. Knee, knee, toe, toe. Knee, knee, toe, toe. Beautiful. First seven and six and five and four and three and two and one all right straighten those legs out last time, one time for push uh we'll see mindy it's 116 i think we may all right ready <laughs> lift up the top leg sweep it forward towards me toe down heel up ready lift and lower ten nine eight Seven, your toe should be as close to your nose as possible. Five, that is. four, three, two, one. And bring it back down. My hips are so tight. No, no, no. I'm just saying that in theory. in theory, not for you in particular. <laughs> figure four, figure four. Figure four, figure four. The leg that was on top, right? The top leg. We're not robots. Uh, no. No, we're not robots. We're real humans. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you girls bitching? Yes. Okay, just making sure. It's been a while since I've had bitching at a class. Yeah, right. I like it. The first day we were sleeping. So yeah. All right, pretzel girls, pretzel. Uh. Head down, right? Exactly. Cross at the knees. Grab your shins if you can't reach your feet. Right, whatever is comfortable for you. If this isn't comfortable, stay in the figure four. You just want to stretch that piriformis out. And switch. And then if your hip flexors feel tight at all, um, you can slowly lower your feet down to the mat and then start to lower your knees away from your body in that pretzel position. And then you'll get your lower back and your hip flexors a little bit too. Beautiful job. All right. They're done complaining, so they're ready to move on to the next thing. Yes. Ready? Yes. We're just going to do a little bit of teaser here. Three and three. All right. All right. So you could stay where you are, Mindy. You don't have to turn. Ready? Long and lean. All right. Arms by our sides or overhead for Sydney. All right. Sydney's going with long legs today because she felt like bent knees were harder. So we're going to have Mindy do bent knees today and see how she feels about that. All right. Bend the knees, bend the knees, Mindy, there we go. Ready? Take a nice inhale and exhale. Pull the upper half up and extend the legs out all the way straight now. Beautiful. Oh, Tampa's finest doing the garbage and slowly bring it down one vertebrae at a time. If you heard the crash of bottles. Take a nice inhale. Bend the knees, Mindy. And exhale, pull up and lift and straighten. Take a big inhale while you're up there. Let's beat the feet. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And slowly bring it back down. I fell. All right. Ready? Nice inhale. Exhale. Chin lifts. Body pulls up. Ready? Let's scoop the arms. Bend the elbows back and extend them out. Serve a platter for eight and seven. Keep the abs tight. Six. Bend the knees if you feel it in the quads. Four, three, 
two, and one. Good job. Slowly bring it down. Beautiful work, everybody. All right, turn around on your belly. Prone, please. Yes, it's that time, my friends. We're going to go into our Pilates push-up again. Once again, Sydney, show us a modified push-up, please. No, no, hands there, just on your knees. Yep, push the pelvis forward. There, there's our modified. Do it again for me. Squeeze tight. There's our modified push-up, okay? So if you can't do a proper push-up, which means you don't look like an inchworm getting up and off the ground while you're doing a push-up, right? Then you're going to do it on your knees, all right? So let's start with one push-up here. Ready? Inhale down, exhale up. Walk the hands back to your feet. Stand up. Arms grow tall along the sides with an inhale. Exhale. Dive down. Fingertips to the toes. Walk out. Three, two, one. Hold the perfect plank first. Bend the elbows with an inhale. Straighten them with an exhale. Walk back. I like it. Exhale with noise. Roll up. Big inhale. Exhale. Dive. This is number two, friends. Walk it out. We're only doing five. You can do five of these, right? Bend and straighten. Walk it back and slowly roll up. I'm letting you do your arms wide because we already did 55 tricep dips, all right? Exhale down. Walk it out. Three, two, one. Hold. And now bend with an inhale. Exhale, push it up. Good job. Walk it back. Three, two, one. Big inhale. That was number three. We got two more. Dive. Walk it out. Three, two, one. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Walk it back. Three, two, one. Big inhale. Last one, right? Dive. Walk it out. Three, two, one. Big inhale, bend. Big exhale, straighten. Walk it back and bring it up good job all right so we're going to go into a side plank series here but we're going to try it from a, a traditional twist position and up so we're going to go down almost like we look like a mermaid but the modified mermaid the easier version okay. all right so start there oh can you flop mindy for me yep thank you all right so so from here, what we're gonna do, hand underneath our shoulder, all right? But you can be modified. Sorry, Sydney, you were right. You were modifying for me, yep. But true is hand under your shoulder, all right? And what you're doing is you're unfurling the legs and wait, at the same time though. So you're gonna unfurl the legs out, stack the top leg, uh, scatter the top leg in front of the back. And then as you lift up, you're gonna bring up and over and do a little twist behind from that way. Nope, yep, that way, go ahead, under, yep. And then come back up, not under the hand though, Mindy, behind the arm, and then bring everything back down into that start position and come back up. Very pretty. You look a little bit like Cleopatra there. Ready? Okay, so we start from this position. You can do this on your forearm. You can leave your bottom leg down to modify. You don't have to lift both legs up, all right? Bend the arm that's supporting you a little, Mindy. Ready? And let's push up and straighten out. Reach behind a little bit. Come back up and slowly bring it back down. Bend the knees too. Bend them in. And now push everything out and extend it out and lift up. And bring it back up and bring it back down. And one more time. I wonder if people can see your legs. You guys, your legs are so dark. And extend it out. No, I mean just see them, literally. Oh. Like your two legs almost look like one, Mindy, from here. Oh, here. And bring it back down. Good job, one more time. And extend it out. That actually is better. I know you're being sassy, but thank you, it's better. And bring it back and back down. Beautiful job. Other side. Sassy. sassy. I take sassy well, it's okay. It's all good. Mm-hmm. My family too. Let's go, Cleopatra. Ready? And squeeze and pull up. A little twist. And then bring it back in and down. And extend, lift, and reach. And slowly bring it back down and in. And extend, lift, and reach. And slowly bring it back down and in. Two more. Extend, lift, and reach. And slowly bring it in and down. One more time. 
and extend, lift and reach and slowly bring it down and in. That is, you guys really looked nice there. You really Are you looked pretty. That's the only exercise that looked nice? No, I'm just <laughs> saying you guys were making faces at me. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just saying you look nice. So that was definitely much harder than yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was fun though. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Now that it's over. Now that it's over. Yeah. Um, so like I was, thank you, Andrea. Thank, thank you, Andrea. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, Mention, we loved reading comments yesterday. Yeah, they really, really, they made our day. It really did. And it is. It just definitely is something that made our day. And I hope this is uh, breaking up the monotony. That's for sure. For all, all right. of us. Thanks, all right. Guys. Stay safe. Stay well. Bye.